Vaparala, working in Municipal English Medium School, Narsapuram, West Godavari District, Andhra Pradesh. Today, we are going to discuss an interesting lesson, a gift of chapels from Hariko, English textbook for class 7. This story is written by Vasanta Surya. In this story, the author describes how innocently children donates a pair of chapels belonging to a music teacher to a beggar indeed and the consequences that follows. Before entering the lesson, let's have a look at the overview of the lesson. Dear children, you know that there are two parts in this lesson. A gift of chapels. I think you remember part 1. Even then, before proceeding to the second part of the lesson, let us recall what happened in the first part. Children, recap of part 1, a gift of chapels. Mridu went to her aunt Rukumani's house. They, while going to the backyard, along with her cousins, Ravi, Meena, she noticed a pair of worn-out chapels. In the backyard, Ravi showed her a kitten, namely Mahendran, saved by them. While he was telling Mridu about the kitten, they heard the screeching sound of Lali's violin. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to describe the characters, setting and plot of the story, a gift of chapels. Express thoughts on the importance of giving and helping others in need as demonstrated in the story, a gift of chapels. Summarize the key events and lessons of the story, a gift of chapels, including the importance of empathy, kindness and generosity towards others, even in difficult circumstances. Rewrite the phrase of sentences as a single sentence. Analyze if clause and use if clause in the sentence. Students, a gift of chapels part 2. Now let us see what is in the second part of the lesson. A beggar came and called out asking for alms. Then party said, Ravi, send him away. Meanwhile, the beggar settled himself under a neem tree in the garden. The beggar said, the ladies of the house are kind souls. The beggar praised the kindness and generosity of party and Rukumani and insisted for arms. Students, here is a question to you. Where did the beggar sit in? Under a banyan tree? Under a mango tree? under a neem tree and under a coconut tree. The right answer is under a neem tree. Well said students. The second question is Who asked Ravi to send the beggar away? Option A Mridu Option B Party Option C, Lali and Option D is Ruku. The right answer is Party. Well said students. Now, let's continue this lesson. The beggar pleaded, Please let me rest under the tree. The sun is too hot. My feet are already blistered. Here, 
the word blisters means boils or bubbles on the skin from the burns or rubbing because of walking without chippers on the hot road the beggar got blisters on his feet see children this is how the beggar's foot is blistered bridu said i suppose he doesn't have the money to buy chippers and also she asked with ravi ravi do you have any old paint in the house then ravi said i don't know mine are too small for him then ravi donated music master chippers to the beggar see students what happened after donating chippers to the beggar the beggar blessed the children and left here is a question to you how did the children feel upon seeing the blisters on the beggar's feet option a surprise option b happy option c fear and option d pity and sympathetic the right answer is pity and sympathetic well said students now another question who blessed the children option a party option b ravi option c the beggar and option d is the rich man the right answer is the beggar well said students now let's continue this lesson the music teacher called lali and asked lali have you seen my chappals i kept them here they both started searching for chappals ravi brudu and meena silently watched when they were searching for chappals then rukmini asked the children have you seen the music master chappals anyway now ravi came and asked with his mother amma didn't you tell me about kanna who donated everything he had then rukmani is silly snapped rukmani and said kanna did not give away others people's things he only gave away his own rukmani understood what had happened then she settled the matter by giving gopamama shippers to the music master the music master accepted them without showing his happiness over getting relatively new chappers for his old ones students here is a question to you whose example was referred by the children to justify their act of donating chappers the option a karna story option b bishma story option c kushal story and option d is mahabali story try to answer this question students the right answer is karna story the music master came to know what had happened about his chappals then he said this naughty kid is like hanuman only rama can save such a naughty fellow now rukmani's eyes flashed she was unhappy and did not like ravi being called a monkey even if it is a holy monkey and stood by the front door waiting for the music master to leave rukmani laughed when she thought what's your mama would say when i tell him that i gave him chappals to the music master 
students this lesson ends here i think you enjoyed the children's attitude kindness or sympathy towards the needy the moral of the story is to help the people in need students i hope you definitely follow this moral in your life thank you here is a question to you who chappers did the children donate to the beggar option a ravi chappers option b mridhu chappers option c party chappers and option d is music teachers chappers try to answer this question students the right answer is music teachers chappers well said students now let's see the activity comprehension check comprehension check the first question is the music teacher is making lovely music read aloud the sentence in the text that expresses this idea answer for this question is the music master's notes seems to be like a train whizzing on and on the next question is had the beggar come to rukmani's house for the first time give reasons for your answer answer for this question is no he had come there many times mother was heard telling ravi to send the beggar away as he had been coming every day for the past week the next question is a short v shaped line had formed between her eyebrows what does it suggest to you about rukmani's mood answer for this question is the v shape was a sign of anger rukmani was very angry at the loss of music master's chappers she could make out that the children had done something with the chappers children now let us move to the next activity working with the text working with the text complete the following sentences the first one is the teacher played a few notes on his violin and lali stumbled behind him on her violin the next one is the beggar said that kind ladies of the household answer for this sentence is the beggar said that kind ladies of the household were very kind and generous the next one is after the lesson was over the music teacher asked lali if have you seen my chappers my dear working with the ticks the next question is at getting gopu mama chappers the music teacher tried not to look too happy why answer for this question is the music master wanted to show that he was angry on the loss of his new and expensive chappers moreover he was not happy on the behavior of the naughty children playing in the garden the next one is on getting a gift of chappers the beggar vanished in a minute why was he in a such a hurry to leave answer for this question is he did so because he did not want any one of the elder members to come and know about it he must have feared if anyone came they would take back the chappers from him the next one is walking towards the kitchen with mridu and meena rukmani began to laugh what made her to laugh answer for this question is she thought that how gopu mama would react 
on knowing that she had given his chappals to the music master. Students, now let us see the activity speaking and writing. Ask one another questions about likes or dislikes or preferences or hobbies or personal characteristics. Use the following questions and sentence openings. The first one is, what do you enjoy doing after school? I enjoy playing outdoor and indoor games, reading story books, listening songs, etc. The next one is, what do you like in general? Say children, what do you like in general? See the answer. In general, I like to play video games. The next question is, would you mind if I listen to music after dinner? Answer for this sentence is, I would not because I love music. The next one is, will it be alright if I? Students, what do you say about this? Answer for this sentence is, it's fine with me if I place a TV in the room. Next one is, is there anything you dislike particularly? Yes, I can't share my towel, comb and bedsheet. The next one is, do you like to attend parties? Answer for this is, oh, I love to attend parties. The next one is, do you play any game? Answer for this is, I don't like to play Caroms. The next one is, would you say you are? Answer for this is, I think I am a person who can adjust. Now, speaking and writing, discuss in small groups. First one is, if you want to give away something of your own to the needy, would it be better to ask your elders first? Response for this question is, Yes, I'll ask my elders first before I want to give away something of my own to the needy. The next one is, is there someone of your years in the family who is very talkative? Do you find her or him interesting and impressive or otherwise? Share your ideas with others in the group. Yes. My younger sister is a very talkative person. Yes, I find her interesting and impressive. The next one is, Has Rukumani done exactly the same as the children? In your opinion, then, is it right for one party to blame the other? My response for this question is, if Rukumani was angry at the children who had given away the chapels to the beggar, to cover it up, she also gave away Gopumama's chapels to the music teacher. She did the same as the children had done. I feel that one party should not blame the other for the same action. Summary of part 2, A Gift of Chapels Mridu sees her cousin Lali learning violin from a music master at home. Meanwhile, a beggar visits their house seeking for arms. Ravi's mother wants the beggar to go away as she is tired of the beggar's widgets. In the process of asking the beggar to go away, the children noticed the blisters on the beggar's feet. They became sympathetic and donated the music monster's chapels to the beggar. The music master finds his chapels missing 
and makes a fuss. Mrs. Aunt Rukmini finds out what happened. Rukmini settles the matter by giving Gopamama's chappers to the music master. At the end, she takes it jocularly and wonders how Gopu Mama reacts when she tells him all that happened. This story depicts the natural qualities of children, plain thinking, fear towards elders, sympathy towards the animals and persons in need, reacting within their capacity without thinking of the consequences. Students, this is the summary of this lesson. Now, I am going to give you some questions for the final assessment. Let's move to the final assessment questions. Students, look at this final assessment part 2, a gift of chapters. Look at these questions and write down answers in your notebook. The first question is, the music master is making lovely music. Read aloud the sentence in the text that express this idea. Second question, what did the beggar get on his feet? Third question, had the beggar come to Rukumani's house for the first time? Give reasons for your answer. The next question, what makes Mridu conclude? That the beggar has no money to buy chappers. Fifth question. On getting Gopamama's chappers, the music teacher tried not to look too happy. Why? And the sixth question is, what was Karna famous for? Students, write answers in your notebook. I think you have enjoyed this lesson. Happy to meet you all students. Let's meet in the next lesson.